Okay guys, the video you're about to see was us at the range doing some testing between four chronographs and seeing if they agreed with each other. We knew there was going to be some differences in velocities across the board. The reason we're set up at 75 yards instead of 100 yards, even though the range was 100 yards long, we put the target in the chronograph at 75 yards for the lab radar purposes because we didn't think the 223 would pick up out to 100 yards because of how small the diameter of bullet is. And you'll see in the video that 223 was giving us some trouble, but that's the reason we're set up at 75 yards from the get. Um, otherwise, we have heard some people say that chronographs do not agree. So we just wanted to check that for ourselves. So enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to the country, my friends. So we're gonna do some testing today that is going to hopefully answer some questions that I've had. I know my buddy over here has had it, and he has some of the stuff I don't. He has a lab radar. He had a second chronograph out front here, and then I had one chronograph and a magneto speed. What we're going to do is we're going to check the lab radar against a regular optical chronograph, the magneto speed, and a chronograph at 75 yards. We're at 78 and a half yards is where we're at right now. So we're going to see what the difference is in all of the chronographs, just to see what uh, variation there may be in chronograph work out. We're shooting a 223 with a 40 grain bullet and uh, we're just going to see what happens. So uh, let's get to it. All right, range is hot. Range is hot. Let's see if we get a reading. Better arm this thing. Okay, we are armed. Okay, we're armed. Magneto speed's on, chronograph out front's on, and chronograph at target is on. You realize our chances of hitting a chronograph are much greater. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay, here we go. Away. All right, we got 3064 at the target. We got 3410 at seven yards this one didn't pick it up okay we got 3418 on the magneto speed let's try let's try it again make sure my alignment's good we're also seeing what the downfalls may be between each chronograph the lab radar one of its downfalls is having it perfectly mounted towards where you're shooting and picking up the trigger of the barrel all three of these red, but that one didn't. So we're doing it again. All right, let's try this again. Let's do it. Thirty-one fifteen at target. Thirty-three twenty-three. Thirty-three twenty-three on the lab. Thirty-four forty-five on the chronograph in front of us, and thirty-four seventy-eight on the magneto speed. And it didn't didn't pick it up at seventy-five, but it. 50 yards, it says 30.65. Okay, let's uh, shoot one more. Let me, keep, let me get this closer so maybe I can get a better. So right now, none of the chronographs are agreeing with each other. The closest two is the one at seven yards and the magneto speed. Probably some telemarketer. All right. <clears throat> Alright. Well, so far these two are agreeing with each other. Okay. Alright, at target. At target, I'm armed. Twenty-nine sixty at target. Thirty-one eighty. Thirty-one eighty. Thirty-two ninety-two. Thirty-three fourteen. It sounds like this is reading low. It's reading low. I wonder if it has something to do with the uh, field of vision. This is stuff that we always wanted to know whenever you bring, when you buy a lab radar, how close is it to say a magneto speed? And we just added the other two as like a backup just to see what we're getting. Did that tell us what it was at 75? Uh, let me see. No, it did not pick it up at 75 or 50. Okay. So the 22 caliber, the 223 is 
might be running out of its field of view down there. Yeah, that's one of the limits for the lab radar in 22 caliber. It doesn't, doesn't, it loses it downrange sooner. All right, we're hot, mm -hmm. ready to go. 29.95 at target. 33.25 here. I don't think it picked it up. It, does it say shot number four? No, it three? says shot three. Well, that should be right because we oh. missed one. Oh, okay. 3180. And, and I got 3355 here, 3325 there. So these two are agreeing. That's interesting. This is reading considerably lower than uh And that's set to else. pick up at seven yards. Well, at Seven yards, it reads thirty-one fifty-six, okay. which is where that tar where that where that reads at. thirty-three twenty-five. Right. So we are consider we're we're almost consistently two hundred feet per second slower with the lab radar. That's interesting. That's I expected a difference, but not that much. Not that much. I trust the magneto speed because it's right at the muzzle, yeah. but the rest of it is kind of giving me. And I mean, we are getting readings at seventy-five yards, so that's good. Yeah, and I'm not picking it up at 75 yards on this. We could try the 308. Maybe that would give us. Well, everything should be set up. We could just swap over the magneto speed if we wanted to. If you want to, we can do that. We're gonna try a little bit bigger bullet to try to get out, get the, the uh, lab radar to pick it up further out. So far, the lab radar is reading 200 feet per second difference than the magneto speed and the chronograph at seven yards. The seven yard chronograph and the magneto speed are agreeing with each other on the speed, but their lab radar is not. So we'll get right back to you. All right, now we're set up with a 308. We got a 308 scout rifle, magneto speed on the end, the lab radar off to the side, same two chronographs out front. So we're gonna see what we get with this. Have you deleted the yes. shots? We're okay, clear. So we're clear. That's clear. That's clear, right. and I'm looking at the one down there. Hopefully, it'll pick it up. There. Just slid off to the side. Hopefully, we all don't right. kill the We're all armed. Down. We're all armed. Your arm there? Yep. All right. Here it goes. Okay, I got 2390 down there. All right, down there. 75, I got 23.98. Okay, so they're eight feet per second difference. Uh, that's not bad. Hey, we're only, we're only one foot per second difference here. At seven yards there, we're at 26.40. That's what it says there. And come on. Seven yards here, we're at 26.35, so there's five difference. And here we're 26.60, 26.59. Man, that's right so, on. Uh, so it's got a problem. With so what we're trying, what we just found out is the bigger projectile is being able to be picked up by the lab radar and everything else more consistently. So we're going to go ahead and shoot a few, like say three rounds, and just get an average of the three. All right, here we go with the second round. Do you want to write this down for the distance out there and here? Hang on. All right, so this is... Uh, 75 yard chrono? Yep, it's 2390. 2390. Seven yard chrono? Seven yard chrono? 2640. 2640. Muzzle with a magneto. Magneto speed? 2660. 2660. And 2659. And That's 2659. Was, uh, 2659. So now we got some even numbers. So let's go ahead and shoot. And they're two believable. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's shoot All another right. one. All right, I've got. Now that's interesting. I'm li I'm liking that a lot better than the readings yeah, we get with. Well, the instruction manual for this says further down range, it's got more of an issue with 22 caliber bullets. So okay. maybe this isn't the best choice if you're shooting 22s. Right. And that went through the same hole, it looks like. Really? Yep. Well, yeah, there ain't no blind acorn. Finds an uh, acorn every now and then. Right. Let's see if you can make that hole just a little bit bigger. That, yeah, right. I mean, it looks like one hole. Okay. Twenty-three 
three ninety nine down there. Twenty four hundred. Okay, R write them two numbers down. All right, so this was twenty three ninety nine. Right. At seven yards, it's uh, twenty six twenty nine. Twenty six twenty nine. Well, the magneto speed is says what? Magneto speed says uh, twenty six forty six. Twenty six forty six. This says twenty six forty nine. And at seventy, at seven, it says twenty six twenty six. Okay. I'm, I'm going to write that down. Seven and seventy five. This is seven is twenty six twenty six. Seventy five is twenty four hundred. So seventy five. There are 10 difference at 7 yards, it's 14 difference, magneto speed and lab radar, uh, one foot. I'm, I'm at the wrong, That's fine. I'm doing the wrong one here. We can go back and get the lab radar numbers from... Actually, why don't I, why don't I just download the file from this and I'll, I'll email it to you and maybe put it in a table and... Uh, okay, and, and listen. I can put it in the description of the video. Yeah. I'll take a picture of what you got there, just snap a picture of it, and I'll put it all in the description. Okay. All right, let's shoot one more, and we'll call it a day. Yeah, it's getting hot. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, it was supposed to be cool today, fellas, and it's not. <laughs> it is definitely not. The I'm sweating a heart here. The weathermen have a 50-50-90 rule. It's given a 50-50 chance of getting it right, they'll blow it 90% of the time. All right. All right. All right. Here we go, ready for shot number three. Yep. At the chrono, we're 23. At the target, we're 2383. 2383? Yep. You know, those are pretty consistent numbers down there, too. Mm hmm. Okay, at the magneto speed, we're 2611. 2611. Yep. Seven yards, we're at 2595. 2595. And lab radar, we are 2611. They're both the same 2611, 2611. 2590. And 2381. 381. So 2590 between the two at seven yards, we're at we're within five feet per second. Okay. And within two feet per second at 75 yards. Obviously, this thing likes the the larger diameter bullets. So. Right. Oh, All right. Okay. All right, fellas. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. So what we have figured out is with 22 caliber you're not going to get consistent readings across the board. You're probably not going to pick it up at 55 yards or 75 yards with the chrono, the lab radar. Uh, that's with a 40 grain bullet. We swapped over to the 150 grain 308. And what's the box say? That might be something. This is a Winchester 150 grain 308. So the muzzle velocity says on this is 2820 is what it says it should be at the muzzle. And it should be 2513 at 100 yards. We got the box numbers were in between 2611 and 2659. And at the 75 yard mark, we were running around 2383. So that's a 300 foot per second difference on the box. Well, so the this is out of a longer up. barrel, I'm sure. I'm sure this is out of a 24. This is going to be, a, I think, an 18-inch yeah. barrel. 18-inch. So what we have is we have some good velocity, good numbers. If you're ever wanting to do this and don't want to shoot through a chronograph at 75 yards, we were willing to sacrifice one to make it happen. So now we have a good uh, difference in four different chronographs to know if what will agree and what will disagree. So I want to thank my buddy Steve for supplying the uh, lab radar and the... Uh, 
other chronograph we have at seven yards and we have a just have a great day and we appreciate you watching